Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you quickly how to create a comic strip using Google Slide. The first step is to go to File, Page Setup, and usually comic strips are divided into panels, and those panels are either square or rectangular. So my panels, each slide is a panel, and it uh, each slide is 10 by 12 inches. So I'm just going to press apply. And so that's a rectangular panel. Um, images. So this is just an image that I inserted into the slide. You can find really great images at uh, pixabay.com. So that is where I found um, some of my images uh, like this one. And then you can also insert text uh, bubbles. So this is when two characters are talking by just clicking insert shape call out. And there's all sorts of different text bubbles. Now this one, the bubble one is a thought bubble and that's different. Uh, and then once you insert it, you just type directly inside the text bubble and make sure to keep the fonts and the sizes consistent. You want to keep the, just everything consistent for every uh, panel. So for example, I went here and this is the border of the call out or the speech bubble. And so you want to have the same border. And I, I like darker borders just because it makes it brighter. And if, so if this one is eight, then this one should be eight too. So you just want to make sure you keep it consistent. And then also you might want to have a background for your slide. Uh, if you want your panel to have color. You don't necessarily have to, but if you wanted to, you could have a background. So you just click slide, change background, and you could just pick a, a color for your background. So every slide um, will have that background. Edit the master and change the background of all of them by clicking there and then going like that and then done. And now the background is applied to all of them. This is the beginning of the comic strip. And so these two characters are meeting. Um, we don't know where they are. And every comic strip has characters and conflict and resolution. So there's going to need to be some sort of conflict. So I put uh, the next panel is another character saying hi. And then here's where the conflict comes in. And I actually took this picture and I cropped it. That's how I created her head here. So to crop, you're just going to double click and you can crop it. And then when you're ready, you just, you press enter and it will crop. So that's how I got just her head here. Uh, and then I added a thought bubble, changed the color of it. I should probably change the border to eight because the border is eight for all the other ones. So I really want to ask her to hang out, but what if she says no, so she's nervous. And then the next panel, you wanna really va vary the images on each panel. Uh, you don't wanna repeat the same thing over and over again, because that's kind of boring. Uh, so I put an icon or a symbol, a balance symbol, and icons and symbols are really heavily used in comic strips. Ask, don't ask. So this is what's going on in this character's mind. And then I put a cell phone here and I actually grouped all of this together so that I can reuse it. So to group things, you just on a Mac, you click everything that you want to group together and then you right click and, and you click group. Right now it says ungroup because everything is grouped right now, but you can group things together so you can reuse them more easily for each uh, panel or slide. Uh, and so this is a text message between the two characters. One, Want to go to the mall later? Sure, I'd love to. I need some new jeans. It's kind of funny that they're next to each other and now they're texting. <laughs> okay, and then the next, the last panel, the sixth panel, has uh, them at this um, mall looking place and they're together. And this is just actually a caption. And so you can include captions in your comic strip as well by just inserting a uh, shape, a uh, square or a rectangle or whatever, and then typing directly inside of it, whatever is happening in this panel. 
And so it says Tina and Giselle met at the mall. And from that day forward, they were best friends until dot, dot, dot. So it's kind of a cliffhanger ending. I could add more panels if I wanted to. So how do you turn this into a com comic strip? So you're going to go file, pay, print settings and preview. And then you're going to go over here where it says handout. And you're going to click handout six slides per page. And now I have my camp, uh, my comic strip. You can download it as a PDF. You can print it. If you download it as a PDF, you can upload it to different locations to share uh, your comic strip. So that is how you create a comic strip using Google Slides.